Hey everyone, so in this video I just wanted to show you a quick tip when it comes to result slide variables. So as you can see I have three scenes here, one, two, and three. Each have a draw from question bank, each have a result slide. Now what happens when you create a result slide is that you get a built-in variable created by Storyline. So if we go to variables, built-in, and we scroll down, we're going to see uh, a bunch of quiz variables. You, If you're used to working in Storyline 3 or earlier versions of 360, you might see these as like results 1 or uh, results 2. So we've got quiz 1, quiz 2, quiz three and the various variables that are automatically generated. And so sometimes if you have a project that has a ton of result slides in it, it can be confusing. So what you may want to do uh, is rename those. So previously we weren't able to rename those. Now we can. So if we go into one of our result slides and then we go to result tools, design and quiz settings you'll see that the name is here and we can call that whatever we'd like. So uh, we can call it topic one quiz. And I'm going to copy that. Okay. And then what we're going to see is that if we go back into our manage project variables, scroll down to T, we will see topic one quiz. So our other two scenes, we've got quiz two and quiz three. So quiz is the default. And if you would like to be more specific about them so that you're able to more easily identify which result slide variables match uh, which uh, result slide, then you might wanna go into each of your result slides and do this activity of renaming the default to something more meaningful to you.